Hey guys, welcome to Rolling Homestead. Today we're going to be harvesting some food, so stick around. Guys, thanks for coming back. We were asked by a lot of you guys if we could show an update on the garden. That's what we're going to do today. Also, if you guys have not seen the Good, Bad, and Ugly collab, that's what the garden first looked like when we did that video. Here's a link to that one. So go check that one out. And also, guys, don't forget to check out the people that were a part of that collab. Other thing, too, guys, if you can, please hit that thumbs up if you like what you see. And also, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to our channel and check us out. So let's go play in the garden. Okay guys, so as you remember in the, in the other video, everything was really kind of small. Uh, we did take the hot, or the, the tarp off the top here now. It's, it's warm enough. They're actually doing pretty well. To give you an idea of what we're dealing with here, There's my hand. There's our war peppers. So these are actually green to red. We have a bunch of other ones also. I see on my sweet bananas. My leaves here are starting to turn also. And we do have, oh my. Oh. So, for those guys that know I like it hot, this year we're doing things a little bit different. I wanted to be able to do things that was beneficial and medicinal. So, this year I went to the Kions. That is very strange. That that's off a cayenne bush, and it looks to me like a reaper. All right, guys. So this is the the pepper patch, and there's all different kinds. We got bells. We've got cayenne. We've got jalapeno. We have what we call a Mexican chili. Uh, they like to turn uh, red, and I'll I'll grab a couple here because they are nice in salads and stuff like that so this is a oh, picking that I did today of the peppers I'm gonna go around this way show you guys but this is what's going on here 
and I've talked to a lot of other people and they're having exactly the same problem. So the sun has actually scorched this pepper. Uh, very strange. So I'm a little bit nervous that I'm not gonna get my reds that I want because if this continues to happen, I'm gonna lose a lot. And we have another thing that was really odd is we've All right guys, so the next thing that we want to get to is our tomatoes. Look at these beauties. Now these are these are the money makers that we talked about early in the spring. Good for salads. All kinds of good stuff. Look at the nice nice groupings that we have going on here that's gonna be really nice can you see me Like that cell com commercial. Can you hear me now? <laughs> All right. This guy's kind of an oddball there. So now we'll move down. These are going to be the Amish paste. This area here is a lot of the Amish paste, so we're going to let them do their thing. They're not ready yet. So everybody knows these uh, beef steaks, stuff like that. Well, these are actually called Tom Lincolns. And they are beautiful. Nice color to them. Nice big sandwich ones. And what's really... <laughs> Look at the size of these Amish paste. Here, here. There's some big ones. And on the other side over here, there is a whole row of, of uh, Uncle Toms. These Uncle Toms are nice. They're coming in nice. So we should have a pretty good harvest this year on tomatoes. So now let's go to the beans. So this is why I like having the trellises is because they just hang down. You can come in here and you can just pick away. Look at this. Boom. Boom. Nice, nice beans. Be perfect for canning. So we have this one that's full of beans. Now let's go down to the next one. All right, and then we have this one that's full of, uh, these are the rattlesnakes, just like I, I said in the beginning. Oop. Five second rule. This one we made a little bit smaller so a moon can pick from them. 
but look at that. That's all nice, nice beans. Gorgeous. So now we're going to go over to the cucumbers. So this here is my cucumbers. And here's some really nice cucumbers hanging great for salads, great for eating. Guys, if you want a little trick for cucumbers, go and find yourself some spike seasoning. I got mine off of asthma at Amazon. Amazon, and I can't find it anywhere in any stores anymore. I found that stuff when I was a little kid. My grandma used to sprinkle it on the cucumbers. It is a great seasoning for any kind of vegetable. The battery's dying. Oh. So, we got some nice cucumbers in here, and we have enough of our pickles that we canned last year. So this is going to be salad. We'll make some uh, cucumber salad, all kinds of good stuff here. And what's neat is they're still flowering. They're still uh, they're still producing. Let's go over here and see which ones. Now these are they're called fancies, and the reason why they're called for that these are more of a uh, restaurant style cucumber for slicing for making on salads stuff like that that's why they get nice and long very few seeds I think I'm gonna get over a five gallon pail of cucumbers Okay, so we'll oh, miss some over here. Yeah, I got a curly Q. There's some more in there. <laughs> Nice thing about keeping these off the ground is your, your vegetables are nice and clean, dry. That one's a little small on that end. So we got a really nice batch of cucumbers going. All right, so now, Let's go move over into the, our uh, zucchini patch. Come on. Okay guys, so this is my zucchini patch. Uh, there's originally planned for two. Hunter gave us two more as a bonus surprise and two more came off of that surprise. So, we have one, two, three, four zucchini plants, and these things are huge. Look at the size of these leaves, they're just huge. So, what can you do with all that zucchini? Well, we found out we can do zucchini bread, zucchini muffins. We do some uh, zucchini casserole and we also put it in with our spaghetti so I'll actually uh, blanch and can up chunks of zucchini for the winter time. I did pick these already this morning so that they weren't so big. Here's 
another freebie. Uh, here's a little zucchini plant. And we've got our cabbages that we gotta jump on here pretty soon too and get them picked. Then if we go over this way, our kale. There's some more kale. Our carrots, this will be the second planting of carrots. And let's see how they're doing. There's a pretty big group here. Not ready yet, but they're they're coming along. We did harvest our beets out of here. So this is going to be our all of these are gonna be our canning carrots. And here we got some red onions. Like I said, this was just a test to see how it would do. I get a couple nice big ones in here. But it was a test to see how it works out. Next year, the difference that we're gonna do is we're going to, in the other garden, is we're gonna take those trellises and run them this way straight up and we're gonna actually go and with some more of a market style beds in here and then I'm gonna have the trellis work for the tomatoes in this area right here. That way we can rotate because we're really having, one of the issues we're having this year is with calcium. I'm having to put in uh, three gallons of milk about every two, three weeks to keep them tomatoes going. So I really sucked out the nutrients. So this year we're gonna be putting in the eggshell. We're gonna be putting in oyster cell. We're trying to build that calcium back up and we're gonna move them in this area over here and let that sit. So guys, this is the update of the video of what our garden has been up to and doing. We gotta get to work and we got a lot of picking to do. So guys, thanks so much for joining me on this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've seen a lot of new things that can help you guys out in your gardening areas. And uh, remember, grow big or go home. So we'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care, God bless.